they've been mesmerizing astronomers for centuries. Some of the most beautiful objects in the sky, they're kind of like snowflakes that, that no two look alike. Early astronomers first spotted them through the small telescopes of the times. Looking a lot like faraway planets, the objects eventually were dubbed planetary nebulae. Over the past 150 years or so, we've learned what the real story is, how they have nothing at all to do with planets and are actually the remnants of dying stars. When a star is initially formed, in the center of the star, you're, you're fusing hydrogen to make helium. So as the hydrogen is used up, you have more and more helium in the center, which is not a source of energy. So as a star starts running out of fuel, its core contracts and heats up, but its outer layers expand and cool off. And what you end up with is a red giant star. Those outer layers then drift off into space, leaving the star's core exposed. That core will be very hot and sends out a lot of ultraviolet light, and that makes the surrounding ejected gas glow. Earlier this year, the Hubble Space Telescope took a closer look at four such nebulae in our own galaxy. The four heritage planetary nebulae in this release do show a, a sequence of events, we think. So we see two types of, of evolution of the nebula, all taking place within about 10,000 years. A relative blink of an eye, considering a typical star like our sun, lives for 10 billion years. From the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Stacion.